As promised, this is the Greater Siren unboxing and putting them into the uh, aquarium. Um, I actually already took them out of the box. I'm just showing you how it was packaged. Just styrofoam, um, a bunch of newspapers so it didn't move around. They came in a big plastic jug. Um, so anyway, I'm just getting the newspapers out there. But, uh, you know, shipped like most salamanders are, so uh, pretty good. It also came with a pretty big uh, plant. I think this is a vowel, um, which was cool. I put it in the background here, so I appreciate the breeder putting that in there with them uh, along the way. So I think it looks good. I put it in the background. Um, and then this is what they were actually shipped in, um, and there was a more water in it, um, but I'll just show you here. Uh, it's a little cloudy. Um, I'll put some fresh water in in a second so you can see, but... Um, as you can see, there they are down there, a little mucky, um, but uh, give me a second here, and I will add some fresh water, but um, yeah, you know, they came fine. As you can see, this is more clear now. Um, really cool, lively animals, <laughs> um, and I'm going to get ready. I already had them sitting in this jug inside the water in here, so they got acclimated to the temperature for about a half an hour, and um, yeah, I'm just putting this in right now um, and let them swim out. Um, and so, you know, we can kind of watch them go into their new habitat. I, you know, essentially these animals are going to beeline for anywhere where it's dark and, um, there's hiding spots. Um, so here comes the first one. What an amazing animal, right? So cool. Um, they're like eels, but they're amphibians. They're such cool coloration. I mean, they're already almost a foot long. These are going to get bigger. These are going to get to about three feet. So they're going to be really cool in this, uh, in this enclosure here. But, um, you know, as I, figure they're you know this one's trying to figure out where it can get to um and try to hide there's a lot of hiding places in here with all the massive pieces of driftwood and some rocks um and then the other one here it goes and it's going to beeline right for the back just like i thought <laughs> gone probably never see that one again um but uh but you know good i mean you know there yeah as you can see it's kind of poking out over there um yeah really cool i mean i figured they were going to kind of live in the background of this and at the nighttime come out. Um, I will make sure I put the lids on this clearly because, you know, they are known to escape, which boggled my mind since they're aquatic, but they can move across land um, and, you know, breathe out of the water for short periods of time. So, um, but yeah, what an amazing animal, great coloration. These animals are in really good shape. Um, really happy about this. Um, you know, we, we were waiting for the right time to ship them and I think the tank had cycled enough uh, did a big water change yesterday, and um, there's a lot of snails. There's both nerites and um, pond snails in here, so I'm sure these will probably eat those too. There's about 30 shrimp. I know in my main video I talked about that. There's a bunch of ghost shrimp and uh, some amano shrimp. Hopefully the amano shrimp survive. The ghost shrimp, um, you know, I like ghost shrimp, but uh, you know they, they're a natural food food source for these animals, particularly in the southern part of the United States, and. Um, but yeah, what, an, what a cool animal. I mean, this thing is just uh, awesome. I mean, they're, they're both great. Um, and really excited to have these. And, um, you know, really, it's going to be interesting to watch them grow if you think about it. I mean, you know, I, I did try feeding them some earthworms and they didn't eat. So the, the person that breeds them um, said I should try some uh, cat meal uh, mix. You can order it online. Um, I'll put it in addition there at the bottom. Um, so, you know, there's no way that they can inhale anything that they shouldn't. So the food stays in uh, kind of a plastic uh, Tupperware thing. So they'll, they'll smell it and get to it. Um, but uh, I tried to give them some earthworms. They, didn't, they weren't really having it. I, you know, they're also freaked out. I mean, they were on a plane going across the country. And, you know, so I got to give them a little bit of time to acclimate. But um, I figure after a couple of days, they'll feel, you know, more at home, just kind of figuring out what's what, what their boundaries are and, um, you know, their hiding spots and kind of posting up, you know, whatever uh, – part of the tanks each one of them wants, but, um, just really, really pretty and really cool. I've never owned these. Um, I have caught a mud puppy in the wild, um, a long time ago and, uh, really like those, but I've never caught one of these. And, um, at first I didn't really know what to think, but now that I have them in here, I mean, what they're just so unique. Um, you know, they, they look like eels, but they're not, you know, they've got the two little kind of arms in the front, no arms in the back. And you can just see how big these things can, can get. Um, and I really like their environment that I built for them too. I really think that, uh, it looks like, you know, potentially something where you would find them. I know that you can find them in swamps and this doesn't look like a swamp. It's clearly the water is too clear, but, um, but I, I really think that, uh, you know, in terms of having a, um, habitat set up, um, you know, in a captive environment, this is pretty good. So I'm really happy about it. And, um, 
Really appreciate you guys tuning in for this. And, uh, you know, the build, if you haven't watched the build, check it out. This is the, by far the biggest build I ever did myself. It's 150 gallon and, um, you know, fully aquatic setup, two strong filters running. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, everything seems to be going great with the plants, a little bit of die off with the plants, but most of them seem to be doing well. So thank you so much again for the support of the channel. And I definitely have some cool new things in mind. I already bought a bunch of tanks. They're just sitting around. So have a couple new species, uh, that I want to work with, maybe even a frog. We'll see. Um, so stay tuned, uh, for some new, uh, builds and I appreciate it again.